on guys Joel here with another video and this time we're actually taking a closer look an in-depth look of a certain tweak now the reason why I'm gonna go into depth on this tweak is because this is probably one of my favorite tweaks and it's something I've been anticipating since the iOS 7 jailbreak and it's finally here for us to download now this is called Spring to Mice 3 and it's from the developer Filippo Biga if, now if you've been around in the jailbreak community for a while you're probably already familiar with that name he makes some great tweaks and Spring to Mice 3 is just another one to add to those great tweaks. Now looking down here, it is going to be worth $2.99. And let me tell you, before I even start going into depth on this tweak, it is well worth those three bucks. Now, basically what this is, it's going to be the ultimate utility for your iDevice. And it's going to allow you to customize and tweak your device however you like, whether it be in changing icons or removing labels and it's it's a lot of stuff you can do on this tweak here so that's why we're going to take a closer look and in-depth look on spring to mice 3 so once you download this you'll be able to simply do things like this so ever since spring to mice 2 i've customized my device and it seemed like a lot of you guys liked it i actually made a video covering how to make it look just like this and today we'll kind of briefly go over it I'll kind of give you a walkthrough of what I do or what I did to make it look like this. But if you want a fully explained video on how to customize your device like this, leave a comment down below and also go ahead and hit that like button to let me know that you want that video. But anyways, as you see here, I have five columns and then we have five rows. So it's a total of 25 icons on one screen and down at the bottom I have five dock icons, which is pretty cool. Also, I don't have any labels. And I shrunk the icons, which is something you can do with this tweak. is pretty dope. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at Spring to Mice 3. Now, once you download it, you'll be able to simply launch the app, or you can go into your settings and go down to Spring to Mice 3, and then go into the settings there. Now, first, of course, we're going to have to enable it. So go ahead and turn that on. Now we have animations, app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, pages, and status bar. So let's quickly run down through these here. First, if we go to animations, it's going to allow you to speed up the animations or slow down the animation. So right now I have it turned on. First, you have to enable it. And then I have it set to 0 0.30. So if I simply back out of this, you see how fast it goes from app to app. As you see there. So we can go here. And it does it quickly. As you see there, which is pretty cool. And let's go to my email, just like that and all that good stuff. So it goes through the animations pretty quickly and then you can also uh, slow it down by simply moving the slider over just like that. If you do make any changes, uh, we'll, we'll say settings change. So just simply tap to apply and then I'll ask you to respring just like that. But we'll dismiss that for now and we'll go back and we'll go to app slider. Now in app slider, you'll be able to hide the icons. So this allows you to hide the icons shown below the app slider. So on the app slider, basically what that is, is this right here. So you'll be able to hide these icons down below here. If you go ahead and enable that hide icons, you'll be able to also resize the pages. So right now it's set to hundred percent. So if you maximize it to 200, basically it's going to be the whole screen like this. So you can customize that however you like. And if I do 40, let's do 50% real quick. And then I will go ahead and hide the icon. And then you'll be able to also add some home action. And basically on this, whenever you slide on the home page, so if we go ahead and slide, for instance, on the home page here, you can change it to respring. So we will, I'm not going to change that, but I will go ahead and tap to uh, apply the settings. And then I'll go ahead and respring real quick. So now once I resprung my device, if that's how you officially say it, there it is right there. It is shrunk to 50% and then I hid the icons at the bottom. So that is pretty cool. I mean, you can have these just show up like that. And of course, it's just going to show three at a time. So you'll be able to scroll through these and it's going to be like a mini little uh, page slider right there. So that is the app slider option there that you can change. So we go down, we go to control center. And now you'll be able to kind of tweak up your control center. So we can first start off with the height separator. So what that actually does is going to be this right here. Those little black lines right there and right there and right there, right there. Things like that, those will actually be removed. So you can simply hide those separators. So I'll go ahead and enable that real quick so you can see that in a second. 
And then also hide quick launch icons. You can hide the brightness. You can hide media controls, airdrop, or the settings. So of course, that's going to be airdrop down here. You can also hide the brightness, of course, and the media controls and things like that. So whatever you choose. But let me go ahead and uh, respring my device. So you see these lines here. You now see that I have no lines, as you see there. So the lines are gone now, which looks a lot cleaner, which is pretty cool. I, I kind of like that cleaner look. But that is for Control Center on Spring to Mice 3. Now, if we go down to Dock, we can change the Dock. You can actually hide the Dock or you can hide the background. And what I have it set to right now is going to be the icon settings. I resize the icon. So first, you have to enable that for it to take effect and then go ahead and hit on resize percentage. Mine set to 85% right now. So you can go ahead and do that if you want them to be this size down here. Now, if we go back. We can also hide the labels. So the labels are going to be the actual titles right under the app icons. So I have those hidden as well. And I have my icon set to five. So five icons will be displayed on the dock. You can choose from the default, which is going to be four, or you can choose from one all the way to 10. So you can customize that to your liking. I have it set to five, like I said. And now below that, you can also change to a cover flow effect, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and enable that cover flow. And you can also reverse it. Basically, the the way it's set to right now is going to reverse it. So the icons will be sitting kind of at an angle and then they'll be reversed if you hit on reverse. Now here on the factor and perspective, you can also change the sliders and kind of tweak that a little bit. But we'll go ahead and leave the cover flow enabled and we'll respring real quick and then check that out. All right. So now you do see that my icons down here have a cover flow effect to it. And there should be a little fix soon. There should be an update because I've been uh, running into the situation where I get my notifications behind my app icon for some odd reason. It always seems to be on the mail one. So I'm pretty sure in the future, uh, Filippo is going to push out an update. And I'm pretty sure that should be rather soon. So you can do that or you can tweak it up some more when you go back into the dock and then uh, tweak up the factor and perspective. So again, that is for the dock on Spring to Mize 3. Now going down below, we got folders. So you can customize the folders. You can actually set nested folders, basically meaning you can create folders inside of folders. And now here you have pinch to close. So basically whenever you open up a folder, you can actually pinch to close and then it'll close out that folder. Right below that we have transparent background. So you can make the folder background transparent. And below that we have unblurred icon. So this will not blur the background of the icon. And right below that we have fast open slash close. So you can make the open slash close animation faster. So if you want to turn that on, you can do so. And below that we have resize the icons. So again, I have mine enabled to 85%. So that way all my icons will be the same size. I don't want my icons in my folder to be bigger than my regular icons. So I did that. And also you can hide the labels of the icons inside of the folders. And right below that, we have the ability to change the columns and rows. So you can actually put more icons displayed on one page of the folder. So right now it's set to default, which is going to be three by three, I believe, or three by, I believe it's three by four. I could be wrong. Let me double check on that because I am not too sure on that. Okay. Yeah, it's three by three and you can change that uh, to one, two, or all the way to 10. Uh, columns and then you can also change that to um, all the way to six rows so it can be 10 by 6 so then you have a total of 60 icons which is pretty nuts <laughs> I'd probably recommend that if you're using it on the iPad because the iPhone has too small of a screen to do so many apps and it's gonna look a little sloppy but right below that we also have the ability to enable that cover flow again and reverse it and then we can change the factor in perspective so that will have the cover flow effect on all the icons inside of that folder now going back we have the icons so on the icons you can hide the updated icon so that little blue dot that you always see you can hide that which sometimes gets annoying but then again it kind of helps to know which one was updated and right below that we have lock layout which prevents you from moving icons so if you hand it over to little bobby or little johnny and he wants to change your icons he knows how to do that you can actually lock them so you, he won't change it so little johnny you better behave <laughs> now right below that we have disable wiggling so this will disable the wiggling animation that occurs after you hold down the icon of course you know that little wiggle that little wiggle wiggle as you see right there a little shaky yeah 
So you can disable that. And uh, below that, you can disable to uninstall. So again, little Johnny, if you're listening, you will not be able to uninstall these apps from my phone. Anyways, we have hide badges. Uh, hide badges on all icons. Now, of course, the badges is going to be these things right here that show how many messages or how, how many notifications you have on that certain application. And below that, we have icon image effect. So you can actually change the icon images. So you can change the black and white, invert color, high contrast, sepia, faded colors, psycho colors, red ascendant, and green ascendant. So you can change it to those, whatever you like. I haven't actually tried those, um, but um, they don't really sound interesting to me, to be honest. But <laughs> we have badge color, which is pretty cool. Now, if you saw right now, I actually have it black with red numbers or red text. Now, if we go back in there, you can change the background color. So enable that if you want to change the color, the background color. And then you'll be able to slide the sliders here and then kind of customize your own color. Now, I do wish that uh, in this tweak, like at least down here, you kind of get a preview. Uh, unless if you're a master of combining colors and mix and matching and you know your colors, then you'll be good at this. But I wish they kind of include some type of preview down here below. Because in order for it to take effect, you have to respring. And then if you don't like the color, then you have to go back in here again, respring again. So mine's set to black. So if you leave it like this, it's gonna be black. If you go all the way over on all three, it's gonna be white. And then you can tweak the rest of the color. So, so I have mine set to black. And then my text, I have that enabled. And then I go ahead and change the text color and it's all the way to red. So that's how I got the black badge color with a red text so i think that is pretty cool i like the fact that you can customize that now right below that we have the ability to hide new stand or you can hide spring to mice so the icon of spring to mice it will disappear like that little icon there and you can also hide icons so this will allow you to hide any application that you have installed on your ios device now you'll still be able to access the application by going to the search bar and then uh, looking up that application if you want to hide a certain app and you don't want anyone to know I don't know what app that would be but you can do so now going down to lock screen we'll be able to actually hide the camera so that is gonna be the camera grabber which is gonna be right down there at the bottom also you can go ahead and change the slider style so you can do the original which is right now slide to unlock uh, you can hide it or you can do custom text or the current time so if you want to go ahead and change it up to some custom text you can do so and once you do that it will have another blank field right down below now go ahead and just type in something random hello and then uh, we'll be good so now we'll be able to apply those changes here and then respring and then now you'll see that you have hello displayed on your slider instead of having slide to unlock so you see down there it says hello now I did try some emojis and unfortunately it did not work so hopefully they release an update so you'll be able to add some emojis instead of text you can do emojis that would be pretty cool now you can also change the time font size you can change it from uh, 9 all the way to wow 117 I that that's pretty large uh, we also have the time style so you'll be able to display the seconds or you can do custom text on there so that again is going to be for the lock screen now you can also change the date font size and the date font style again so you can change the custom text and you can change the font size from 9 all the way to 117 so that will be pretty large text now going below that we have pages so pages is going to be of course your pages when you're sliding from left to right on your springboard here so I actually have my dots hidden so the dots are going to be the page little dots at the bottom you can't even see that probably but there's no dots down, down there anymore so I have hide dots and then uh, disable spotlight. You can disable that if you don't ever use spotlight. So spotlight is when you pull down from your springboard and then you'll be able to search throughout your phone. Now below that we have icon settings. So this is where the magic happens when it comes to the icons. All my icons are resized to 85% and right below that we have high labels so it won't display any type of labels of the app names. And below that, I have it set to five columns and I set the rows to default. So it's going to be five by five. And also you can change the cover flow. So again, like we did on our dock, you can do the same thing 
with your actual icons that are on each page. So you can enable that and reverse it, factor, perspective, change the slider down there. And yeah, you'll have, if you change those settings to the way I have them, you have your icons looking like this right here. And going to status bar, which is gonna be the last option on Spring to Mice 3, you'll be able to change your carrier name. So if you don't like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, uh, whatever service you have, you can actually change it. So I have mine set to enabled, of course, I have to enable that in order for it to take effect. And then type in something, so I put JB Tech 17, and you see up there on the top left, it is now named JB Tech 17, my carrier. And then below that, if you don't really use the time up there, up top, you can actually customize the time and you can change something else. I mean, you can put something, whatever you like, some type of text or I don't know, whatever you want. And then below that, you'll be able to hide items. So you can turn off any of these little icons. So airplane, airplay, alarm, battery image, uh, battery percentage, I have that actually disabled. Um, for some reason, I wasn't able to disable it just by simply going to settings in general, then usage, and then turn off battery percentage. I don't know, it's still displayed it on there. It was weird. But uh, anyways, you can also remove the Bluetooth battery, Bluetooth signal, all this stuff here. You can remove that from your status bar. So that is actually Spring to Mice 3, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Spring to Mice 3. I think it is one of the best tweaks out there. Definitely in the top tweaks that I've reviewed ever in my jailbreak career, I guess you could say. I love this tweak because you'll be able to customize your device however you like, and it's available for $2.99. So I'd say definitely go pick it up. You can customize it like this, or you can just do whatever you wanna do with your device, your icons, and everything. So definitely leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video, and if, of course, if you like Spring to Mice 3. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, if you want me to do like a full walkthrough of how to set up your device, how I have mine set up right now, including like the little battery percentage there. And I have a couple other tweaks on my device. Maybe I can do a what's on my iPhone jailbreak edition. I've actually done one of those before. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check out my last video that was what's on my iPhone, the jailbreak edition. But anyways guys, appreciate all you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was pretty lengthy, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tweak. And if you're not yet, follow me on any of my social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. Links will be all down below, so go ahead and follow me on those for the latest news on jailbreak tweaks and uh, tech news and all that good stuff, guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, so you won't miss any of my future videos. But other than that, guys, appreciate all you guys for watching, and uh, catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace. My leg is a f sleep. <laughs> How does that happen? I'm sitting in a chair. Oh man.